Welcome to your January Investor Update. As per government guidelines, we're filming this remotely this month. I'm Gina Castleheim, PR Executive at Nutmeg. I'm joined today by our Director of Investment Strategy, Brad Holland. Hi, Brad. Hi, Gina. 2021 ended on a high note for investors as markets recovered from a volatile patch. What was your take on December? Well, the end of uh, 2021 echoed uh, the first quarter of the year, really, as as bond yields uh, and oil prices climbed and stock markets rallied. Much of this optimism stemmed from the the US Federal Reserve signalling in mid-December that it would favour raising interest rates three times in 2022 to combat inflation. The Fed also announced that their emergency purchases of bonds, which have been uh, adding liquidity since the COVID crisis began, well, they will end in, in March this year. The Bank of England was actually the, the first central bank to move on rates, hiking its lending rate in December from 0.1 to 0.25%. It's the first rate rise in three years, and it shows policymakers every, everywhere really are now taking a tougher stance on rising inflation. Can you give us some broader insight into how different markets performed in 2021? It was a a big contrast between asset classes, with with government bonds falling around 5% over the year, while global equities were up over 20%. This was actually the third successive year that equities delivered a double-digit growth rate, which is good news for portfolios skewed towards risk assets. Uh, in terms of regions, the Nordics topped the year with a 30% rise. Japan was the weakest link at 13%, and the UK equities managed over 17%. Now, emerging markets, uh, they largely underperformed their developed market equity peers. Uh, the prospect of central banks ending their, their quantitative easing and for policy rates to go higher, these both suggest more adverse liquidity conditions for for these developing nations and their emerging stock markets. Another way emerging markets can source liquidity is via commodity sales, and commodity prices rose across the board in December, uh, even if that only partially unwound a a calamitous October and November for commodity prices. Still, the the net liquidity picture looks weak for emerging markets. And and while COVID-19 seems to have passed its peak, but the rapid spread of the Omicron variant will continue to impact emerging markets negatively. So with this in mind, in December, we we made the decision to to trim our exposure to emerging market equities and put those proceeds to work in, in the Nordic equities, where we have more confidence of growth and also in cash, ready to take advantage of future investment opportunities. How did the Nutmeg fully managed portfolios perform during the month of December? We benefited from buoyancy of uh, risk assets in the second half of the month. But gains were, were very marginal for the, the lower risk portfolios between flat and 0.5% for portfolios one to three. The, the typical medium risk portfolio, portfolio six, that grew around 1.5%. And the most adventurous portfolios, risk levels nine and 10, grew 2.7% during the month. Our, our socially responsible portfolios, meanwhile, were, were essentially flat in the lowest risk portfolios, up around 1.5% in the medium risk, with gains of 2.4% in the highest risk option. In December, it was reported that UK inflation reached 5.1% in the year to November, while in the US, CPI climbed even higher to 6.8%. How concerned are you about ongoing price rises? We've spoken before about supply bottlenecks as manufacturers have struggled to meet demand after the lockdowns. Car and mobile phone manufacturers, uh, for example, they, they require many different parts and suppliers and shortages have led to price rises. These bottlenecks are likely to remain at least into the first half of 2022, though we are now seeing some signs of easing, such as falling shipping container rates. Um, We think inflation is therefore likely to peak at some point during this year as the global economy opens up. On On a cyclical basis, central banks are on the right track in raising interest rates to dampen price rises. We're noticing that the US is becoming less reliant on China 
uh, on, on imports from China. Now, historically, China imports have kept inflation low in the US. Now, now that we are living through a sort of reset on China-US relations, it will be interesting to see what impact this has on US inflation, indeed on how the US economy adjusts to the new environment. Well, President Trump's tariff policy may be partially reversed if President Biden eases some trade restrictions on China. This would ultimately ease upward price pressure. What are some other big trends that you think will influence markets in 2022? Obviously, the, the recent spread of Omicron and any further COVID-19 variant would be a huge concern. Uh, and any further lockdown would be a blow to businesses and economies, which are, are desperate to get back to full capacity. Beyond this, other key themes would be uh, inflation, globalization, uh, government stimulus, uh, the flourishing world of SRI investing, and, and of course, the growth of passive investing. These are all themes which we, th we think will continue into 2022. And we've written about these themes in our investment outlook for the year, which can be found on our Nutmeg website. So please, we recommend you look at that if you'd like to learn more about these. Overall, we continue to, to take a positive view on uh, developed market equities and, and, and risk assets as economies do normalize. But uh, that, that very normalization uh, is continued bad news for bond markets, at least until central banks get further into their tightening cycle into 2022. Many thanks, Brad. Thanks, Gina. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions for Brad or the investment team, or a topic that you would like us to discuss in next month's investor update, you can contact us via social media, email, or in the comments section below this video. We look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you.